Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. This is Eggnog, and we are here with another dogfight diagnostic video. We are back in the hurricane again, uh, but this time, rather than the 12 machine guns, I've thrown on the two 40 millimeter um, cannon gun pods uh, with high explosive ammunition. It's actually one of my favorite uh, loadouts on the Hurricane. Not because it's particularly good, but it is extremely uh, satisfying. It's just a really fun way to shoot down a plane. We are back on the Finnish server, of course. Um, weather is, is kind of medium cloud cover, late afternoon. And um, I am currently alone, but I have a wingman in comms with me, and we're going to uh, link up and uh, head over to the front to look for some trouble to, to get into. Um, so with all of that, I think we'll just go ahead and jump forward to uh, the moment in time where, where we're over the front and, and getting into trouble. So we are skimming under the clouds and looking for bandits. There's my wingman. There I'm seeing some, some ground fire going up into the sky um, from a friendly target area. So I know we've got a bandit nearby. So I've got eyes on him. And then I see, uh, I see more and they're taking flak. So I've got eyes on him straight out from me there. Um, because I know I've got my wingman with me, and uh, as far as I know, it's just the, the one. Uh, we pretty much turn right towards him and, and uh, attempt to engage uh, immediately. I'm at a challenge, turning into him. There goes the canopy. And he comes right overhead, clearly a BF-109. Um, but now I'm starting to be worried about my wingman who's, uh, who's talking about this other 109 that he sees. That means we're, we're looking at a, a 2v2 rather than the 2v1 that I thought we were getting into. So he flies right over. Doesn't even seem like he's looking at me. And then I see why. There he gets some hits on my wingman. And that's why he wasn't looking at me. He, uh, he was all eyes for, uh, for my wingman. And that's bad news. There, there were hits to the tail, but if he's going to tangle with, uh, with his 109, uh, which I'll circle here, uh, he's really going to be um, in, a, in a rough position from a maneuverability standpoint after taking uh, cannon rounds to the tail. Uh, so I stick with, with my initial. Not necessarily a great idea probably for us to have split up here, um, which is my bad. Take some long shots at this guy. And next thing you know, now he's got my tail too good. Yeah, he sniped me. Oh, shoot. No, I got out. So in this moment, uh, my wingman's just been uh, shot down. He was able to parachute. He's not killed. Uh, and he'll be able to, to give me some eyes in the sky. Um, but it is now uh, a 1v2. Uh, me against two 109s. And I am not liking those odds. I look back towards where, uh, towards where he was at. And lo and behold, there's one lining me up. And so this is kind of the first moment um, where I've got to exercise what is the, the kind of focal point of this uh, dogfight diagnostic, and that is priorities. Um, constantly shifting priorities and the, the power of, of priorities. So I've seen this guy lining me up. And until now, I've been looking at uh, that initial guy that I was chasing. But now I see that this one's lining me up uh, for the shot. Um, so immediately my priority shifts from, from that forward target to uh, this guy who's trying to take me out. So I turn against him real hard. And the idea there is just to make that a very difficult shot for him to take. And as soon as I see that I'm through his uh, you know, guns, I nose toward the deck. I'm just trying to build up speed and energy to run um, and extend. Um, I can look at my compass, I see that I'm uh, actually on a northern heading and I need to turn that uh, east. So with my nose down for maximum speed, keeping an eye on this guy, I start to bring my heading to the east. I'm going to start weaving and jinking a little bit just to make this hard for him. I don't want to give him a free, a free kill. 
so I'm going to make it hard, but I'm going to control the direction we're going. So he's kind of trying to keep with me, trying to put those shots on. But he's having a hard time. Raj. I only see... Oh, there's number two. Yeah, and number three. Yep. Yeah. Oh, great. So my priority right now is all on the guys behind me. Now, one nice thing about the position I'm in. Yes, I'm I'm 100% defensive right now. There's no chance that I'm taking shots on these guys. But they're all together. They're all in one spot. So what I can do... Um, in one move, I can throw all three of them um, off my tail. Keep Watch. Oh yeah, he just freaking got my... One move, all of them just blast through, no hits on me, and I've got some room. I did have to bleed a little bit of energy to turn that hard, but it was a short turn, so my, my um, stamina is still fine, and I straightened back up as soon as I was through to hang on to as much energy as I can. Now I'm just going to try to recover that uh, eastern heading and continue to uh, extend and, and run. Now interestingly, uh, in this case, with that particular turn, I, I don't know if it was just too tight or, or what exactly happened, but they sort of lost me. I think they got confused. Maybe they were looking at each other. There is a, you know, somewhat a resemblance between a hurricane and a, a 109. But they kind of lost me here, uh, so I just kind of ran for it. That way. Hopefully. All right, I'm flying south right now. Cross the A wee little stream. Copy. Keep an eye out. I wonder what stream this would be. Maybe 0913. 0913. Copy. Because it's north. A, yeah, because it's an east-west. Oh, somebody needs help. So right here, it's a little bit difficult to tell, but I've spotted um, a couple of 109s taking shots at a, at a friendly aircraft behind me. So they were chasing me, but along the way they must have crossed paths with uh, another allied plane, and they decide to, to take some shots on him. Um, so my priorities shift a, uh, again a little bit here. Uh, obviously I've been watching these guys, but the thing that I'm thinking is, well, if they're focused on that guy now, they're going to be out of position and, and not necessarily paying attention to me. Deep over allied lines, maybe I can get, cut back there and, and, uh, and bring, you know, bring them down. Uh, I sort of was hoping that the ally would, would survive and maybe be able to help with the fight. Uh, he does not survive. He took a lot of hits there and, uh, and ultimately ends up going down. So as I'm flying in and I see these two in front of me, I catch, catch sight of, of another one here. You can kind of see him in this shot. Because I can barely see him, I know I know his aspect is, is head on with me. You know, that's the smallest profile, it's hardest to see. Uh, but I just pick him up. Um, so again, reprioritizing. Uh, rather than follow the fight that's over there on my on the left side of my um, windscreen, I need to focus on this one because he's flying right towards me. Uh, so he's going to be the greatest threat. So I fly as if to make a head on with him. But never intending to do a head-on. I, I rarely, if ever, uh, will perform a head-on, especially in the the Allied plans. It's just a it's just a gamble, uh, which isn't, you, you know, if you think back to the to the first dogfight diagnostic, we talked about probabilities. It's 50-50. That's actually pretty horrible um, odds. Uh, I think I can probably do better than that. Um, so I'm gonna make him think that I'm doing a head-on because the Germans love head-ons, and. Um, at the last minute, I'll dive underneath his shots. So right when I think he's going to take shots, I just duck under. Now, he's behind me. I've got two German planes yet in front of me. Reprioritize uh, again. Um, he's the, the one that just crossed me. He's not going to be a threat for a few seconds. Maybe I can take those seconds to... Uh, to uh, um, take out a plane and, and, and lower the overall sort of... Uh, threat level. Or MIG or whatever it is. Uh, 
So I nailed that one pretty good. Uh, honestly, that's a combination of some skillful uh, shooting uh, and, and a fair amount of luck. Uh, but that's the power of the 40 millimeter cannons right there. I mean, you can see his wing just fell off. Um, he's, uh, he's done for. Uh, so that's one enemy eliminated. That leaves two. I just need to get eyes on him. I know there's one yet to the right of me. And then the other one that crossed over me before that I ducked under, he's to the left of me. So as soon as this guy's down, I'm going to focus on finding those two guys so that I can make my next priority call. I don't see anything off to the left. I look right, and hello there. I think uh, we've got our, our new priority established uh, because he is coming in hot, he is coming in close, and I have got to do something about that. So he zips right over me. I'm going to try and sort of weave with him to keep from blowing out in front of him. Here. Yeah, I'm in a That's scissor with one. I I see that. You're like almost yeah, right on the river there. He's uh he's dead. And I just nailed that shot. With that uh, uh, threat neutralized, my priority is to find that last, the third uh, 109, and uh, and and figure out a way to to counter him. It's been some time. I'm worried that he's going to be right behind me. Uh, so I check six. And sure enough, there he is, right on my six. Uh, he's he's got me saddled, lined up, uh, ready to take the shot. Uh, I really, at this point, have very little time to to react, um, and that's just kind of the way it goes sometimes. More behind you. Yeah, I see him. Shots. Ooh. I'm almost there. Diving now. Get some speed. So at this point, um, the, the, the game of probabilities uh, has, has kind of been lost. Uh, I made myself good for, for two, but I'm uh, not going to be combat effective at this point. No, I'm a little ways out, probably 20 seconds. That's not good. <laughs> no, I know. He's, he's on you again. All right, engine died. I'm gonna ditch. Okay. Looks like he's gonna roll over again. Yeah, I just Possibly. killed both of his buddies, so that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, he's pretty slow now. Get him. So that's the end of the fight. And uh, while maybe on the one hand, yeah, I, I was shot down. Um, that's kind of a kind of a loss, kind of sad. Um, the the fellow who had shot me down. Um, had thrown all his energy away, kind of looping over me and making those repeated passes. When he sees my wingman show up um, uh, to help, he, he tries to evade and loses control of his aircraft and crashes into the river. So, so honestly, quite a good fight. Um, and only, only would have, could have gone well by, by constantly uh, evaluating priorities and, and, uh, and, and making the right calls. Uh, so, so that's all I've got for this one. And unfortunately, no, uh, no, you know, delightful little landing sequence. But um, again, the 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 focus of this diagnostic was the power of um, priorities and the uh, uh, advantages that it can give you by constantly reevaluating your priorities, whether it's greatest threats or greatest opportunities, and, and going for them. So, I hope that was helpful. Um, again, hope it was kind of, you know, informative that maybe there's some things you can take to, to your own fighting styles and, um, and, and, and be more successful in, in your dogfights. Um, but that's going to do it for now. Thanks so much for, for hanging out. Uh, until the next one, we'll, we'll catch you later.